Well, yes, in terms of the ongoing investigation, of course, the police and security services have been trying to determine whether there is any wider threat. Now, there is no specific intelligence of a wider threat, but this attack comes just weeks after the murder of Sir David Amos in a terrorist incident uh, at a constituency surgery in Essex. So given that, the Joint Terrorism Analysis Centre has decided to raise the terrorist threat level to severe, meaning that an attack is highly likely. Now, this coincided with a meeting of the government's crisis cabinet committee, COBRA, which was chaired by the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, and he addressed that raising of the terror threat level after that meeting. This is what he said. It is a stark reminder of the need for us all to remain utterly vigilant and the independent Joint Terrorism Analysis Centre, JTAC, are today raising the UK's threat level from substantial to severe, meaning an attack is highly likely. But what yesterday showed above all is that the British people will never be cowed by terrorism. We will never give in to those who seek to divide us with senseless acts of violence. And our freedoms and our way of life will always prevail. Mark, what more do we know about reports that the taxi driver, David Perry, may have indeed prevented what could have been a far more deadly attack? Well, these are certainly reports not being confirmed by the authorities at this stage, but reports that are coming through from friends and colleagues in the taxi profession here in Liverpool suggesting that this taxi driver, David Perry, had become suspicious of the man he had picked up uh, on Sunday morning, that that man had asked to be taken here to the women's hospital in Liverpool, uh, that his suspicions became so uh, overpowering that he uh, decided to get out of that vehicle and to lock this person in the back of the vehicle. In fact, you can see from the video in my report there, it was uh, just as his car was, his taxi was pulling up, that this explosive device detonated. And then just a split second later, you see David Perry just stumbling from the front of the vehicle. Thankfully, he wasn't seriously injured. He was treated in hospital yesterday, but today has been released and he is back with his family, recovering, speaking to detectives about what exactly he witnessed. Uh, whatever information he can give to them will be vital, of course, going forward, because the suspect is dead. And a lot of the forensic evidence will have been incinerated in that very intense blaze after the improvised explosive device detonated. So uh, quite a, a tough job for the forensic teams, but this is what they're trained to do. They will, as a matter of urgency, Alex, be trying to find out exactly what the ingredients were for this bomb, how it was constructed, uh, and crucially, whether there might be people that were involved in helping in the construction of this device and whether there may be other similar devices either under construction or out there.